All right, hello everybody and welcome to day five of Sound and Light. Uh, today we're going to be talking mostly about the behaviors of waves and how uh, waves interact with each other and the environment they're around and not just specifically sound or light. We're going to talk about both. Um, so your job today is to complete the, note, the notes for this. There's a couple of videos that you're going to need to watch embedded in the notes, so make sure you check those out and then complete the exit ticket. After the video, I'm going to... Um, copy and paste the exit ticket questions onto the last slide. So hopefully they're going to be there by the time you guys get uh, get rolling on this. Um, a lot of the exit ticket questions come from the video, so make sure you watch those and there you'll see them again on quizzes and tests. So today you're going to be uh, trying to describe how waves behave um, as they relate to sound and light. So what are they going to do when they're set into different situations? The first thing we're going to talk about is wave interactions. Really, that just means how waves behave. When we talk about interactions, we're talking about how they behave with different materials, with other waves, and things like that. So the first thing we're going to talk about is energy absorption or wave absorption, and that's when the energy is being stopped. So when energy is being absorbed or absorption is happening from a wave, uh, that energy the wave is carrying is now transferred to that object. So if you think of um, a really good example for light is if you've ever worn a black t-shirt on a hot summer day or you've ever stepped on blacktop, um, you know that it's really, really hot. And that's because all of that light energy is being absorbed by the black um, color, that black t-shirt or the black pavement. And a lot of it's being transferred into heat energy that we can then pick up off of our feet or off of our skin and it kind of hurts. Um, if you go into the band room or the choir room, you're going to see some uh, different funky shapes. And if you've ever had your hearing tested, you've been in this small little padded room. And they use special foam to help absorb sound so that it's uh, it, we're absorbing that energy, we're taking it in, we're stopping it from transferring everywhere. Check out this YouTube, um, it will help you and it will make uh, your exit ticket question is much, much easier today. So please look at that here. So the next one then is transmission. And this is when wave energy is being passed through something, a medium. Um, this can be just going right on through. So uh, light passing through anything that is transparent, right? So think about like um, light going through clear glass, right? It's gonna pass right through. That energy is still gonna be there. Uh, a lot of the glass in your homes actually have some special gases in there trying to reduce heat loss or heat absorption. But um, translucent, anything like that, that has uh, a clear um, kind of coloring is going to allow that light energy to pass through. Solids pass through solids, liquids, and gases. You can hear my voice right now because the speakers are making sound waves and that's passing through the air. If you knock on the table, Right, you can feel the vibrations uh, transmitting through the table. Um, if I jump into a pool, you can you can feel the waves come as you know they radiate away from where I jumped into the pool. So waves transmit through solids, liquids, and gases. Light passes through anything that's clear. Uh, kind of works out nice. So transmission is passing through a medium. Reflection is then bouncing off of a barrier. So I think this is pretty. Pretty uh, intuitive that a reflection is wave energy bouncing off of something. So if you've ever uh, tried to blind someone with like your cell phone, shine in the light in their eyes and things like that um, off the face or with a mirror, right? You know how to reflect light. You've seen yourself in a mirror that's reflecting light. So it's bouncing off a barrier. The direction that it's coming in is what we call an incident. So if it's a ray of light coming in, right? it's gonna bounce off at a reflected angle, right? So if we're uh, straight on with it, it's gonna come straight back. But if we're our incident angle or the inc the angle that, um, that comes in, so if we're at a, an angle, like a 45 degree angle to the object that's reflecting, like if we're standing towards the side of a mirror, right? The reflected angle or that image is going to be shown off at a reflected 45 degree angle. So the angle of reflection is going to be angle equal to the angle of incidence. So if this is an imaginary uh, 90 degrees. The angle to this 90 degree 
is going to be equal to this angle right here. So the incident ray is going to be equal to the reflected ray as far as their degrees. So a blue dye or a red or a green, um, when we look at a shirt, um, a blue shirt is actually going to be reflecting blue. So it's going to absorb every other color and it's going to reflect blue. Or in this, in this example down below, the red shirt is reflecting red light, but it's absorbing everything else. So when we see color, what we're actually seeing is the reflected colors. And that means that the pigment has the same wave frequency as the color, which is, which is pretty cool. So when you're looking at, you know, a blue shirt, what you're looking at is the absorption of every color except for blue. So when you see a certain color or combinations of colors, it's because all of the other colors are being absorbed by that material. Uh, refraction is when wave energy passes through a medium and it changes its speed and it changes its direction. This is where we really need to watch the Bill Nye video today. So if you've ever um, looked at a glass of water and something looks kind of goofy or you've been at the lake and this fish looks huge, or this is an example right here um, of glasses or pencil and water, uh, when light is refracted or it's changing its direction or its speed through a medium like a lens or water, uh, we're gonna get some really goofy things. So a lens can either spread out light or it can focus it. If you're nearsighted, this is the kind of lens you'd have. If you're farsighted, this is the type of lens you'd have. And what the light is do, what the uh, what's going on here is that light is bending, making the pencil look like it's broken. You can take it out and see it's not. But again, watch that Bill Nye video and it'll help you clear that up. All right, so your job today is to watch the exit ticket or to go through the slides, watch all those videos and do the exit ticket by 2.50. Good luck, everybody. Have a great day.